So these are 10 things that I wish I would have bought sooner. They're kind of unexpected. I feel like a lot of you probably don't even know they're out there, but now that I have them, I don't wanna not have them. So everything will be linked down below in the description box and I'll also pin everything in the comment section. Uh, first we have the brand. Ebby, which now that I have this, I don't wanna go back. I love me some high quality seamless bras and underwear. It's like my favorite thing. But this particular brand I feel like is very different than a lot of others because their bras especially provide so much support. And that's kind of the problem sometimes with seamless bras. You know, I love them. I am more small up top than a lot of you guys. And sometimes you would comment saying like, eh, I mean, those are nice, but like, I can't wear them. These, I have three specifically that I wanna recommend are so so completely seamless, like all of their stuff, like 100% seamless, guaranteed, no lines whatsoever. But they also provide so much lift and support at the same time. So I have teamed up with them for this video. They gave me a promo code that I can offer you guys. It is Shea Whitney FS15. This code will work for the entire site, 15% off and free shipping. I really encourage you to look at the different colors and patterns, maybe even get a bundle set. Again, their underwear is so nice, but they are very size inclusive extra small all the way up to 4X. So up first we have the relief bra, which used to be called the only bra because it was like the only bra you'll ever need. But because it provides so much support and relief, they decided to rename it. But I would say it's probably their number one bestseller. It has some interesting, unique features about it. So they have what's called the soft wire technology. So it's, it's kind of like a wireless underwire. So it's going to give you lift and support without any pain. And then also they have the three support wings, which is this like, stretchy support along the side, which is going to not slip. It's going to kind of like mold to your figure and move with you. So a lot of people really love that feature and it does have the clasps in the back and it has kind of like a no slip grip along the sides. You'll see that with the underwear as well. There's just like kind of like a velvety lining along the sides, which just kind of grips to your skin. And then we have the support bra, which I'm actually wearing the pink one right now, but I also have it in this really pretty green color. It has a mesh back though. So it's not going to be the, the clasp. It's going to be a mesh back, which is really breathable. You kind of just slip it on. It actually provides one inch lift. Again, lots of support. Then we have the wireless bralette, which I don't know. This one actually might be my favorite. Again, it provides a lot of wireless comfort and support, but I just feel like this is extra comfortable because of the wider straps. Also the material, like all the material is super soft and stretchy, but this almost just feels a little bit cooling. And then I love the super low V cut. So you're going to wear it with anything and it's not gonna be peeking out of any shirt. So again, those are just my three personal favorites. I do think they are the best, but I will have them linked down below and don't forget to use that promo code for an extra 15% off site-wide and free shipping. So moving along to something that actually still has to do with underwear, but I wish I would have bought this sooner. I wish I would have tried this sooner. I love it. And I actually kept the box because I wanted to share that if you try this, I feel like it should be this brand, okay? But it's reusable bamboo sanitary pads. Yeah, I love uh, the, the period underwear, I do. But some of you guys are like, but so like it's you're using it and then you like go to the bathroom, but then you like just keep it on. Like, I don't care. I love period underwear, but this is also great too. And I wish I would have tried these sooner. I didn't actually didn't even know they existed. I got this brand. I researched a long time because a lot of like period underwear and like reusable pads, lots of chemicals on those. And I don't want to be using things up near my hoo-ha with chemical, whatever. This is bamboo. I feel like there's no bad chemicals and it works really, really well. So I got the kind of like starter pack because I wasn't sure what sizes I wanted. So this comes with a whole pack. I mean, look at this one. I do not need this. My flow is not this heavy. I think this would be for people that just have like heavier, but then also for sleeping. So you, you know, clip this to your underwear and then it's like a whole backing that like goes in your underwear. But I feel like I use this these sizes the most, um, but it's really unique in the way it's designed. There's a clip thing here. You just clip it around your underwear like you would an actual pad um, and it you use it. And, and then when you're done, you can actually just fold it up and clip it together and you can rewash them, reuse them. I know some of you are like, oh, it's so gross. That's fine, don't use them. That's fine, I love it. And I feel like a lot of you would as well. Continuing on with the bad chemicals, not going up my hoo-ha, I have recently ordered a plethora of different brands of healthy toilet paper to try because I'm sorry, Charmin, 
It might be plush, it might be soft, it might be three ply. It has forever chemicals that we're putting up our, our area around it. I mean, for guys, it probably is not that big of a deal, but for us, it is. You obviously can ignore this too, but I ordered a few bamboo toilet papers. There were two that I thought were good. Okay, so here they are. This one's called Better Way, and this one is called Save Trees Co. It's called Cloud Paper, and, and they're so similar. I think Josh, technically prefers this one, like if he had to pick, but like they're so similar, sometimes I, I can't tell the difference. So I will link both of these options. They are more expensive than regular toilet paper and their selling point is that it's 100% bamboo, zero trees are killed in making this. So that's great for the environment, but I the, the thing for me, guys, no chemicals, no dyes, no inks, it's just healthier. While we're talking about the toilet, I might as well talk about this next. This is a pumice stone for cleaning your toilet. I wish I knew this existed years ago. This is a game changer if you have slightly hard water that leaves stains in your toilet. Like I thought that was just like, you clean it the best you could and you're kind of stuck with it as the years go on. No, this thing is amazing. It's like this stone attached with a handle and you stick it in the water, get it kind of wet. And then hopefully you saw the before before. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, I, I kind of like, I kind of like let this go so you could see how wonderful this is. So anyway, you just take the stone and just rub it on whatever stain. And this works like if the stain is even really bad, but it just removes the discoloration, any stain, whether it be yellow, red, like whatever, it will literally turn your toilet into looking brand new. I know I keep saying this about everything, but I wish I would have bought this sooner. I wish I would have found this sooner. I saw it on TikTok. It is a waterproof wireless lamp. And you're probably thinking like, okay, but the thing is this makes taking a shower so much nicer. You don't have to turn on your big blaring bright bathroom light. You just turn off the lights, turn on this lamp. It's just this little touch button and it turns on this glowy warm, like ambient light and it's just like a cozy vibe taking a shower. I enjoy it so much better. I just sit it on my bench. You could sit it on a ledge or a shelf or whatever and it's completely waterproof and you rarely have to recharge it. It's just phenomenal. I also use it when I take a bath. You know, some people light candles. I'd rather just turn this on and it just, it just makes the vibe of the bathroom so much nicer. Now, while we're in the shower, I'm gonna move on to a couple other things, but I will turn on the lights when I'm showing this just so you can see it a bit better. But this is Kojic Acid Soap. It's really, healthy soap. It has kojic acid in it, vitamin E, collagen, turmeric, and it's really good for your skin. But the reason I wish I would have bought it sooner is because I didn't know that kojic acid actually helps to reduce uh, acne scarring, which that's not really an issue with me anymore. It used to be, but it helps to fade dark spots and hyperpigmentation, which I'm starting to notice as I age, I'm starting to get some dark spots on my chest and it's not terrible yet, but I'm trying to like kind of slow it down. I know some of you probably struggle with that as well. So you should try Try getting the kojic acid soap. Just keep it in your shower, focus it on the areas where you wanna try to like fade the dark spots and it really, really helps. I've also seen this advertised for the longest time and a while back I finally ordered it and now I'm like, dang, I should have bought it sooner. It's by the brand Kitsch and it, it serves like a lot of purposes. It's kind of like a headband, but it's kind of like a massive one. It's super comfortable. A lot of headbands just like dig into me and I'll put them on to like do my makeup or get hair out of my face to do skincare or wash my face or whatever, but this is so big. It actually kind of serves as a shower cap in a way. I mean, I have a lot of hair clearly and I'll put this over my head. It's super comfortable. I'll stick in my hair at the top and it, it completely, you know, prevents the water from touching my hair at all. But I also use it, like I said, when I'm doing, before I do my makeup, if I'm adding skincare, it's just like a really nice like headband and you can easily wash it and just obviously keep using it. Now this is a retinol eye stick and I did share this in a semi-recent video. I had had this for maybe two or three weeks at the time and I was really liking it, but now I love it. Like now I, I just love this so much and it's kind of for two reasons. Now I'm actually seeing results from it, but I just really, I really like the application. It's so much easier than all of the other like eye creams out there. I just never stay on top of that because you have to do it in your bathroom. You gotta like rub it all in. This is like the coolest applicator. It's literally like a lip balm. I just keep it in my nightstand. And before bed, when I'm putting on my chapstick, I'll pull this out and I'll put it above or under my eyes, kind of around my crow's feet. Retinol is so good at reducing fine lines and wrinkles and kind of plumping up the skin. But 
Now I'm actually seeing a difference. Like I don't think my area is like that bad yet. It's obviously gonna get worse, but I'm for sure noticing less pronounced lines, especially like my crow's feet around my eyes. Next we have this dish block, which I'm gonna link both of these under the same number. They kind of go hand in hand, but this is the star of the show. These are just really natural, really good uh, scrubber brushes that I get on Amazon. This is a brand new pack, but I've, I, I always get like the same ones. Um, but anyway, this is, the, this is the new thing I wish I would have discovered sooner. My assistant Katie actually found this for me to try and I just love it. Don't want to go back. I no longer use Dawn dish soap or anything, which I mean, the, the problem with a lot of dish soaps out there, again, full of bad chemicals that actually coat your uh, plates and your bowls and then it doesn't come off and then you eat food and it goes in your body, whatever. And I know I have to pick my battles. I'm not perfect in every area of my life, but if I can find things that I really like that are just healthier, I try to make those changes. So this is by the brand No Tox Life. It is a dish block. There are no fragrances, no dyes, like no bad chemicals, it was really nice. And it actually just sits beside your sink. And I actually have it on this little tray that the water just kind of like comes out. It's great. That's also from Amazon. I've had that for years too. But you sit the block beside your sink, get a little scrubber brush. And when you're doing the dishes, you just dab the scrubber brush on the block. It gets super sudsy and you can just scrub the, scrub the thing. I just prefer that that kind of method and I can kind of like dip, 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 go back and forth and it is so great and it cleans so well. It gets so sudsy, but it's a lot healthier. Moving along to wall adapters. Definitely wish I would have purchased some of these sooner because everything nowadays comes with different plugs, uh, USB ports to charge, like it's just annoying. And so having some of these throughout your house makes your life a lot easier. So I've got two, one, which is this one, it's a little bit smaller. And then I also have like the bigger one. I think there's like six plugs, you're seeing it here. I mean, there's USB ports, different types of charging ports, the actual real plugs. And they're just like all around, everything's a surge protector as well. Um, but you can charge and plug in and do all kinds of things all at the same time. It just gives you a lot more flexibility and a lot more options. Um, so I will link both styles down below depending on how big of one you actually want. But don't forget about Ebby's seamless bras and under where you will absolutely love them and be sure to use that code for 15% off site-wide and free shipping. I'll have everything else linked down below as well. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.